Hello, Mike from Outside Xbox here, and I am playing Guyana Sisters Twisted Dreams. Now, if you're a hoary old bastard like me, you'll remember the great Guyana Sisters game from the Commodore 64 and Amiga, which was a shameless Super Mario ripoff, uh, to the point where the first level was almost identical. Uh, there were big legal dramas, uh, but Guyana Sisters is back as a, an XBLA platform game with a bit of a twist, hence the title. Uh, so we're going to play it and see how it is. Okay, so this is the world of Guyana Sisters. Uh, it's a sort of dream world that's been uh, accessed via a vortex, and your basic objective is to sort of platform your way through. There's no falling damage or anything like that. It's quite a traditionalist 2D platform, but it looks beautiful. Um, and not a lot like the original game, so it's kind of forged its own visual identity, which is good because, you know, on Nintendo, in your case, again. Um, so I'm just collecting diamonds here at the moment, which is one of the main objectives. You can collect bits of artwork and things like that. That doesn't look like a place I want to go. And there's all these dark monsters. So at this point the game's playing a fairly straight bat, as far as platforming is concerned. But that's the other guy and a sister in the hands of that giant dragon and he's just eaten it brilliant so game over um sorry uh, you lose now here's the point where things get kind of interesting you can switch between cute Guyana in the weird dream world and uh, this Guyana with purple hair uh, in in a more traditional storybook looking fantasy world. And doing that allows you to change the level around you as well as yourself. And it also changes what you collect. So there are diamonds that only appear in certain um, worlds. So to collect them all you'll need to switch between the two worlds fairly regularly. So here we go. So if I switch now the gate opens the drawbridge extends, but I need to switch back for the following gate to open. And the transition's really, really nice, actually. So here we go, here are some diamonds that only appear in different worlds. So I can grab these, and then switch worlds and grab the other ones. But I also need to negotiate this moving platform puzzle. I mean, it's not braid, it's not going to completely destroy your brain, but it is a nice extra element to consider, and the visual transition is just gorgeous. So this game is actually Kickstarter funded, uh, so it's one of the successful Kickstarter games, and actually, this is exactly the sort of thing that, that Kickstarter's for, like, interesting, pretty, sort of quite niche uh, games that might not otherwise make it to XPLA. So I've just been informed by a loading screen that the purple-haired Guyana is Punk Guyana, which sort of makes sense in that in the original game, uh, instead of a mushroom that would make you large, uh, you collected a diamond which gave you a kind of spiky hairdo and allowed you to headbutt rocks and things in exactly the same way that Mario would. Such a huge amount of detail on, on the backgrounds, and obviously every one of them had to be designed twice. So you've got this picturesque bridge with the love heart lantern here and then it switches to a skull lantern and it's a slimy swamp and there are horrible bones all over the bridge and things. Ooh. Oh, rising water and giant sea urchins. Why would water ever behave like this? That doesn't make any sense. I know this is a fairy tale story, but well, you gotta have rules, man. It's not Thunderdome. So that's Let's Play Guyana Sisters Twisted Dreams. Um, it's 1200 Microsoft points on XBLA right now. 
possibly a bit expensive for a platformer, but it's very charming, very visually pleasing, and it's great to see a Kickstarter project that's successfully funded actually make it to XBLA. So see you next time on Outside Xbox.